Hey guys, welcome back. So I wanted to talk about our next project, little project with the Humvee. We are starting to uh, work towards um, getting everything done so the Humvee would be street legal. So uh, one of the things that we'll need to uh, install is the reverse lights on the Humvee. So uh, basically um, what I did, uh, I bought from Tractor Supply and um, this is not any commercial for Tractor Supply products or anything like that. This is just the rod that we chose. Um, so uh, it's called the um, Traveler uh, Off-Road Lights, uh, which is these guys and <clears throat> I like those because of very simple thing I can change those plates so obviously I changed it to the green one because it matches my Humvee and I really like it uh, it's looks like it's a pretty good quality it's all I think it's aluminum and coated and it looks good so uh, we are gonna go ahead and start to work on that love it that I have the different plates which I can just pick the green one and replace it with this with this blue one it's kind of still trapped here anyway. but yeah pretty simple from blue to green and um, kind of like pretty straightforward um, I got everything here so it comes with the mounts and everything I need everything looks pretty good quality and then I got this uh, installation harness that's kind of like all already prepared for me I might change the switch to a different one but um, pretty pretty easy just to install it and it is require the um, wiring splitter which I got that too uh, not too bad <clears throat> pretty simple and uh, yeah let's see how it works Okay, so it looks like the easiest way is to start here from where the batteries are located. Um, <clears throat> looks like anyway I need to connect to the batteries. So what I'll do, I'll probably connect to the batteries, run from here, this hole outside, and run straight all the way to the back to the lights. And then from here, probably going to position one of my relays here, and then um, go somehow to the other side to place the uh, the on and off switch still not sure how to do it I might have to open the doghouse and go through it or maybe go underneath we'll see but um, looks like that's the um, that's the plan for now so the plan is this is that hole right there it's hard to see but anyway I went through here and I'm gonna go all along this channel right probably from here and all the way to the back so so far it's coming from here and you can see I already sent the whole wire so I'm gonna try to go with this channel I don't have any other spots really I can uh, I can hook it up to secure it probably here and then go up not sure yet we'll see
everything to here. Time to get the splitter. Basically, I've installed all of this part from here to here and just need to connect everything, but that is the splitter that will go to the two lights. So hard to open that thing. Make them so hard to open, I guess for, especially for, um, so kids like me wouldn't be able to open But it will connect to one wire that will connect to the one and then two to the lights there you go let's install it so technically this connects to here and then it will run to the two lights so let's see let's connect that that we are almost ready to install the lights all right so that split is here i think i'm gonna kind of like dance everything together here let's see but from what it looks like uh let's see where it is it's, yeah it's this one so here, there is this place that I can, I can show, there you go, you can see it right here. I can open that bolt here and hopefully use the same hole for the lights. And there is exactly the same thing on the other side, where is it, right here. Right here. You can kind of like see it. Yep. All right. I'm gonna start with taking off this bolt so I can mount the light. So this is obviously never been opened or loosened before, which is. Of like tricky it's all like glued together combined with some desert dust and I haven't really gone anywhere yet I think, I think. all right yes it worked so there is a lot of rust here but it's out so anyway now yep that little guy crazy but now it's out so we can actually install the light it's getting late uh couldn't find really a, some of my tools um this is not the sun, this is the street light. So, trying to get it done quick so I can at least install one light. Here is the deal. This is the light and the mount. The mount goes on the side, sides, and this bolt goes here in the lock. 
in between. So we're gonna do this. See it works and let's see what happens. Temporarily. It's all temporary. Basically, this is the light. It looks like it's uh, pretty. Looks like pretty decent. It's uh, already pretty late here right now. Not sure what time it is, but it's dark. Can't really see much. One light is installed and it works. So that was uh, proving the concept, I guess. Let's finish for the day and uh, continue tomorrow. Yesterday, uh, we installed <clears throat> one side of the reverse light, the right, the right side, passenger side. And today, it's time to install the other side. Let's get started. So the light is going back in and I just wanted to show you guys how it looks. Let's tighten the sides first so it will be easier to tighten the top one after. So this one is almost over the, all the way tight. And there we go and then this side and it's type two. And I was debating if to um, put here anything to secure the what the um, bolt in, like um, the blue Loctite. But you know what, there is uh, washers here and spring washers, so I think it should be okay. Once I'm gonna start driving around, I'm gonna check to see that it's not uh, loosening up from the vibrations and then I will put Loctite on it. But both of the sides are tight. And now the top one. And then it should be be okay. And sturdy. Sturdy too. Alright. Looks like uh, the right side is done. Now to the left side. There is a washer and a spring washer here. So I figured that it's not really necessary to put blue uh, Loctite on it, but we'll see. Make sure I look around every time I drive and uh, make sure they're still secured. So we're gonna start the driver's side. Uh, this gotta come out. Unfortunately, I don't have a range that is that small with me. And again, we are during a move and staying here uh, in our RV. So definitely I don't have all of the tools with me and everything, so 
that's just gonna have to uh, to work, I guess. Looks like it's coming out. It's all rusted over there, honey. Yep. All right. Definitely all completely covered with rust here. Well, I'm gonna use that one anyway. Next, let's uh, drill the hole bigger and put the light in. So just for you to see it from inside here, I'm gonna try to get it. This is what it is. So what I do, right here, so I'm getting it out, then I expand the hole right here, and the hole right here, and then basically um, put it back in. Is, um, I mean most of it beside the frame is aluminum so it's not so hard to do this stuff next we're gonna get these uh, holes here bigger and that's it so I um, <clears throat> expanded those holes on this guy so it would match and fit this inside of it and then able to just use that bolt for it and it works pretty well okay so let's start with this so this guy will go back here and then I will get close that's the hole that I made. Yeah, you can kind of like see it, which is good. And hopefully that will go in easy. There we go. One went in. And the second one. Oh, all right. That's good enough, probably. Washer, or spring washer, and our no on top of it, and that's it. Just gotta wait, make your way down there. side bolts with the spring washers so we got this one so we need the spring washer it goes against the bolt and then the washer goes here straight to the straight into the light Other side, 
Again, spring washer and washer. And that goes to this side. ready for us. So let's start tighten it. Hopefully you guys can see it well from there. tested it before but now it's weather sealed and I'm gonna check one more time that it works and then um, if everything is good I am going to zip tie everything let's see if it works It looks like it's pretty nice and bright. Ooh. Yeah, very bright, and this is during the day, so I am happy. Yeah, even during the day, you can actually see it on my hand. All right, awesome. I like it. Looks like everything here is okay. Um, it's pretty much protected by the element, just the way it's built. So I'm just gonna go with that. And I guess it's time to uh, zip tie the hell out of this. So I'm kind of liking the way this harness goes here uh, with those cables. Uh, everything here looks pretty protected and stuff. So I'm gonna trust this wire here that comes with the lights. And I'm just gonna follow this and bundle it in the, in the middle over there. So hopefully you guys can see well, but that's how I'm gonna do it.
there is like you know, dozens of right ways to do this but this is how I'm doing it so not not too complicated to the light and again guys this uh, there is like a million ways to do this but this one works and looks like it's gonna work pretty well now to the uh, battery connections So um, next we're going to figure out how to get the control switch from this side all the way around somewhere here. So yeah, let's see how to do it. Start with opening the uh, dog house. Thank you. 
guys, another one more thing I wanted to talk about is the um, this uh, insulation cover here. So I did take all of it off just because I wanted to see if there is a hole uh, so I can run this cord through it, but I couldn't find any holes. But I figured that um, I'll just keep it off for now just so I can kind of like decide where I want that um, on and off switch to go. Alright guys, so a little recap for a little recap for the, the work today. Basically what we did is connected the um, second reverse light in, uh, tied everything nicely and, and uh, neatly with the uh, zip with the zip ties, connected everything to the batteries and basically uh, started to run the, the switch, on and off switch, all the way to the driver's side.